with humans at least it's like you know we got our big toe and like in and the pinky toe which kind of like serve as like stabilizers right so it's like yeah. if you have these three toes they stick straight out like they stick straight yeah, out there's from no the way like the it foot. was not it's not going to have a lot of balance i don't know what it's going to balance on you know only thing i could think of is like I, and in my head i was like okay maybe they're like prehensile maybe they're like a spider monkey i don't know like maybe they think they, their primary means of locomotion is like swinging it across some pipes in the Dan, zero gravity Dan. or something like that's it. Well, do you well, remember? Do you remember Exo Squad? I do remember Exo Squad. Yes, these are the fucking Exo Squad aliens. That's why they have little creepy fucking fingers. The blue, they don't need the blue all, guys. All they need to do is control the giant robots. Sure. Well, uh, yes, it, it, they've it, evolved. It, it, so that like Independence and Day to, aliens, like they the, they live yeah. in little exosuits. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, and okay. a lot of people like you know like if a lot of people say that like if you didn't wear shoes your whole life and you were barefoot, like your foot would look a lot different because you would have more splayed toes than what we have. <laughs> well, no, just that. Like, I mean, yes, yes, that yeah, right? I, I believe so, that. Uh, what, so what I'm saying is, is that maybe through some sort of evolution of whatever this these things are, is that they've evolved like they don't use toes anymore. Right, so it's like well, they only got a couple of useless ones left because they got these fucking dope ass fucking Air Jordan, you know. No, no, they control giant robots. They sit in yeah. them like the yeah. Exo Squad. It's, yeah, or yeah, Independence Day. They're than the Exo Squad. Or Independence thing. Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so they're not using it exactly. They're and they're losing it. Right, they're so losing I, the function yeah. of these things that we have. Yeah, so that's they why just they get looks, longer. Well, like, just they don't looks, just like shorten up and go away. They get longer. <laughs> Well, well, maybe, maybe this thing had, you know, it was like Peggy Hill feet, right? Big ass feet. Well, Peggy uses those feet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, so there was another point that was brought up and like, I, you know, I went across doing my research and I went across a couple videos and like they got, they had some more x-rays and like some more kind of like close ups of the feet and the hands and whatever. And it's like, there's this weird thing about the hands and how they are like the first one uh, on the smaller ones, like on the smaller ones, they almost look like they're like, okay, like that's that one's that hand looks better than the other hand. Like the, the, the first hand, it seems to be like all kinds of, yeah, it's super jumbly. And then that's when the next one seems to be less jumbly. It seems to be mm-hmm. like, okay, maybe, maybe, you know, if these were, if these were artificial creations and I'm not talking about of terrestrial origin uh, that somebody was like, practicing like if somebody you put together the first hand and you're like okay that one's done and then it's like the mistakes that i made on the other hand i won't make with this hand i can you know looks like somebody might have been practicing almost uh to put these things together and there's also the the fact that when you go through and like you count the bones you get a different number of bones for each hand like 31 27 24 26 bones Difference yeah, a number of bones. bones and hands, <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's it, and it's hard for me to dismiss the points that that were brought up in some of the videos about being like some of the bones look like they're they're actual bones taken from different parts of the body. Like there are bones that and some bones that actually look like they're just like cut off because even in some of the X-rays you can see like some bones just end abruptly. Like normally where you'd have like you know that's where the joint would go. That's where the one bone would fit into another. Like this is you know if even if you just look at a regular human hand bone, like you can see how the the bones would fit together. Like there's the arches and the uh you know and the nodules it's, and like where they would fit together. It's some such of them a, definitely don't look like that. <laughs> well, it's such a weird thing to like. When I go, like, because when you see this, it does, like you said, it, it it starts to look like someone was like, shit, I'll, I'll do this next one better. But it, it's it's such a weird thing to try to hoax on this level to get it to go, because I'm like, you're not going to fool. There's a level of, like, visual you can fool someone, and then there's a level of, like, the second we start testing in these things, it's like, you're going to be like, your hoax is going to be, right, like... Yeah, but it was enough to get them their own fucking show on Gaia, buddy. Yeah, I leagues. guess so, right? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, personally for me, uh, a lot of content from Gaia uh, is a lot of it is like, you know, they're big claims. They make big claims. Um, it, you know, when I go in and read this stuff, a lot of it doesn't exactly satisfy my 
my rigorous academic standards that I usually apply to most of the stuff that I read. Uh, a lot of it is just kind of like, you know, it, it's like, it sounds good. A lot of it is, uh, uh interesting. You know, they are interesting reads and, and food for thought, uh, sometimes. And then sometimes you get stuff like this where it's like, okay, the, the um, uh, I, like I again, I am no expert, but I look at those and I, I I have seen I have been to the Museum of Natural History multiple times and I have seen bones and how they fit together. And, and you're like, like, that is not that is not how they fit together. I have a I have a very basic understanding of anatomy, and I, I and you're like this isn't this isn't. <laughs> I this may isn't not be a me. bone wrangler, but I know yeah, bones. I might not yeah. be an expert bone wrangler, but I do understand that the bones have to fit together at a certain point, and you have to have. There has to be some sort of presence of ligaments and stuff, all of that, all of those things, uh, you know, biomechanics, some tiny principles there that would, this thing wouldn't be able to walk. I could just try, it was just making me laugh trying to think about like how the, the like what would be the primary means of locomotion. Like I said, I was like, okay, maybe. Levitating. Yeah. I, I, we said Slithering. exosuits perfectly. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could believe that if they were at work, you know, primary means of uh, transportation is, is exosuits. Exosuit. Maybe they live in, they live out their lives in exosuits. Um, maybe they are uh, more accustomed to zero G. That's a possibility. And so they just use their fingers and hands to kind of like move along. The yeah. wall, you know, move along corridors and stuff and pipes like they do in, um, I guess like in Gundam and stuff like in zero G gravity. Like you just have oh, to yeah. grab onto stuff and like yeah, propel yourself, ground. yeah. Um, is really what you want to do. So you would uh, need, you would need a lot of muscle tone. So then maybe if it's something that crashed here, right? And they're like, now they're fucked. Sure. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. Like if, 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 if you crash a ship here and you were like this, you would be literally, there's nothing you could do. You, you would almost have a hard time breathing if, just on the weight of our gravity. Yeah, they're may maybe they're human octopus hybrids. <laughs> yeah, the start of them. <laughs> but there's no st and, and yeah, if they had like suckers on their hands or something, like I I believe it. Well, yeah, like, but those would probably those would de the, the, wouldn't those like de decomposition? Wouldn't that just get rid of them? I think they'd still be there. They have some type of like, you know, it's like you'd be able to tell. I think that they have some kind of. Maybe that shit was just too real for guys, so they just maybe, cut them off. They're maybe like, all of these real. bodies just had tentacles that were sprouting off their body, and they all yeah. decomposed. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Adds yeah. up. <laughs> um, so. so, yeah, uh, if you wanted to throw those those theories into the ring and let them fight it out, like, it could be like, yes, uh, some of those I could be allowed for in uh, for an explanation as to the why these things exist and why they look the way that they do. And I would be a little less skeptical if, if the person that uh, kind of brought all this to to light, as it were, it was uh, Jaime Mousen that we mentioned at the very beginning. This wasn't his first alien mommy roundup. <laughs> like, this is not his first one. Um uh, we mentioned like earlier, like at the beginning of the show, I said the, the Roswell slides, which uh, might be a, a full case file later, but um, he was he was part of that 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 whole shebang, and I remember those two when those came out, um, and. Uh, this is when they found, um, this is when they found a small, it's not the one that we taught. It's not pickle baby. It's not pickle baby. It's a different pickle baby, I guess. Uh, um, but it he is was a pickle also, baby, but not the pickle baby, but not the pickle baby, but another pickle baby. Yeah. Um, listen, there's only one pickle baby. <laughs> uh, he was in on the, the Roswell slides and he was also in one that a, a, a lesser known one that was called the Metepec creature uh and if you look this up it is a it, it is a type of kind of a, a cryptid uh existing on the internet uh that people found that apparently was uh discovered by one urso ruiz uh he used to set up traps to uh uh feed various birds and snakes uh you know trap birds and snakes on his farm which he would use as feed and then he trapped apparently one day a, a small or claimed to have trapped a small alien creature uh in one of these these rat traps and this this creature was eventually sold to a uh, journalist Jaime Mousen who made a big to do uh in 2010 uh, like uh, making claims that this was an actual alien creature. It could have been, you know, Chupacabra. It was uh, something they had found. Uh, it, it, it is, it, it was totally gross. Like if you look up pictures of it, if you pull this yeah, thing up, like it is, it, it, it's pretty, bleh. uh, uh, it's a very, it's a pinkish, uh, pinkish, grossish, almost fetal looking 
creature. Uh, it's got teeth, like teeth and eyes and, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, th- that was, again, that, that was something that was, uh, it was fabricated. Uh, this thing that, that everybody thought that is this strange looking creature uh, was actually like a, it was like. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.